Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim. My name's Camel. In this video I'm going to be showing you all of Skyrim's unique clothing. This includes Skyrim's unique circlets. Now just to clarify, unique items being items that are literally unique, items that are non-craftable and non-radiant, meaning they don't spawn randomly, there are only very specific set locations to find them. For example, items that can only be found in one specific location or during specific quests. If you have any issues with this definition of unique, please take it up with the Skyrim wiki for I am using their definition of unique items within Skyrim. So first up, we're going to be covering the Skyrim unique clothing sets. And first up, we have the Archmage's Robes. All spells cost 15% less to cast, plus 50 Magicka, and Magicka regenerates 100% faster. This is a very powerful enchantment for a rope, and arguably one of the most powerful robes within Skyrim. Next, we have Boots. Now, although these are not called the Archmage's Boots, these particular boots are only found in the Archmage's quarters and worn by the Archmage of Winterhold. Boots increases shock resistance by 40%. Next we have Cicero's Boots. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Very useful for those of you who like to sneak around. Behind your partner's backs, of course. Next we have Cicero's Clothes. Prices are 20% better. One-handed attacks do 20% more damage. This is pretty cool. I think it's a unique enchantment for any chest piece within Skyrim, so a very powerful piece here. Next we have Cicero's Gloves. Double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. Very powerful for those of you using backstab with daggers. And lastly for the set we have Cicero's Hat. Sneaking is 35% better. Very powerful enchantment to stack with other sneaking enchants. For the next set we have the Dunmet Out. Outfit. This is the blue version. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Here we have the Dunma outfit. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. This is the red hooded version. And it looks like this. Next we have the Dunma outfit. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. This is the red non hooded version. And it looks like this. Next we have Jester's Boots. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Next we have Jester's Clothes. Prices are 12% better and damage with one-handed weapons is 12% better. Next we have Jester's Gloves. Double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. And lastly for the set we have Jester's Hat. Sneaking is 30% better. For the next set we have the Mythic Dawn Boots. Next we have the Mythic Dawn Gloves. Now we have the Mythic Dawn Robes. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. This one is the hooded version, which looks like this. And here we have the Mythic Dawn Robes. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. This is the non-hooded version, which looks like this. Next, and very quickly, we have Party Boots. Next in the set is the Party Clothes. Next, we have the Red Guard Clothes. Now, these are not to be confused with the Hammerfell Garb, seen here. And next in the set, we have the Red Guard Hood. And again, not to be confused with the Alakia Hood, right here. For the next set, we have the Shrouded Hand Wraps. Double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. Next in the set, we have the Shrouded Hood. Sneaking is 25% better. Next, we have the Shrouded Robes. Destruction spells cost 15% less to cast. Next, we have the Shrouded Shoes. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. For the next set, we have the Temple Priest Boots. Secondly in the set, we have the Temple Priest Hood. And lastly for the set, we have the Temple Priest Robes. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. A very cool looking robe, a very unique skin. And it gives me flashbacks of Morrowind. Next we have Ulfric's Boots. And next in the set we have Ulfric's Clothes. Now there is an Ulfric's Braces as seen here. You can also click the link here which will take you to my Skyrim Unique Light Armors video where I cover them. For they are light armor and not a clothing piece. For the last set we have the Wedding Dress. A very beautiful and unique looking dress. Next in the set we have the Wedding Sandals. Some seriously high end fashion. And lastly for the Wedding Set we have the Wedding Wreath. A very beautiful and unique headpiece within Skyrim. Next up we're going to be covering the Skyrim unique standalone clothing gloves or hands. Firstly and lastly we have the Mystic Tuning Gloves. Pretty cool skin, that's about it. Next, we're going to be covering Skyrim's unique standalone clothing boots or shoes. And first up, we have the cuffed boots. Secondly, and penultimately, we have the fur-lined boots. 
And thirdly and lastly, we have the pleated shoes. Now, next up, we're going to be covering Skyrim's unique clothing, chest pieces, robes, clothes, or cloaks. And first up, we have the Emperor's Robes, a very, very beautiful and unique skin there. Next, we have the fur-trimmed cloak, the back of which looks identical to my back. Next, we have the hooded blue robes. Next, we have the hooded red robes. Next, we have mid-axe robes. Absorb 15% of the magicka from dragon breath and spell. Chance on hit to spawn a tentacle explosion. Very powerful robe, works very well with the whole set. The other three set pieces are mid-axe boots, mid-axe gloves, and mid -ax, which is a dragon priest mask. Now, the boots and gloves are both light armor. You can click the links here. You can click the link over the particular item to go to the point in the light armor video where I cover them, and Minak the mask comes in either heavy armor or light armor. Links to both where I cover them in light armor and heavy armor videos are also on screen. Next up we have the monk robes, quite a boring robe. Next we have the noble clothes, this is basically a less bright version of the emperor's robes. Next we have the radiant raiment fine clothes, some very nice necklaces there. Next we have Taron Dreth's Robes. Destruction spells cost 15% less to cast. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Very nice enchantment there and a unique skin for a unique robe. Next we have the Telvanni robes. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Again, this gives me very strong and fond flashbacks and memories of Morrowind. Next we have the Thalmor robes. Destruction spells cost 12% less to cast. And lastly, we have the Vermina robes. Pretty cool looking robe. I do like the pattern on these robes and the colors as well. Next, we're going to be covering the Skyrim unique standalone clothing headpieces. Now, this little fella, the Diadem of the Savant, is covered in my light armor video. Although it is a circlet, which is a clothing piece, this particular item is considered a light armor piece. I cover it in depth in my light armor video, the link to which you can click right here. It'll skip straight to the part where I'm talking about the Diadem of the Savant. So now onto the normal Skyrim unique clothing headpieces. And first up we have the Ethereal Crown. Retains the last standing stone ability you held, granting you its effects in addition to those of your current stone. So wearing this basically gives you the ability to possess the power or benefits of two standing stones. This is a completely unique enchantment and extraordinarily powerful. And a very beautiful and unique skin for a very beautiful Dwemer piece. Next we have the Execution hood. Now this item when worn completely covers the face. It is quite creepy. And lastly we have the Mage's Circlet. Now depending on what level you acquire this Mage's Circlet will depend on the power of the enchantment. If you acquire this item between the levels of 1 to 4 it will give you 20 Magicka points. 5 to 9 will give you 30 Magicka points. 10 to 14 will give you 40 Magicka points. 15 to 19 will give you 50 Magicka points. 20 to 24 will give you 60 Magicka points. Or in my case 25 plus will give you 70 plus Magicka points, which is a very powerful Magicka Enhance enchantment. And there you have it, that concludes our Skyrim Unique clothing video. If you are interested in Skyrim Unique items, you will probably be very interested in a series that will be coming up soon, which is Skyrim Unobtainable Items. These are items that are unobtainable within the game, and some of them are even not seen in the game. So for a lot of the items, it will be a first viewing for a lot of you out there. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment if you think I left any items out. Let me know what items you think are good, bad, look cool. All the items that you use and love. Don't forget to share this video amongst your family and friends. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see videos similar to this one or on similar topics, please subscribe. It helps me know that people are interested in these type of videos and in the long run will mean that I make more videos on these type of topics. If you are interested in other Skyrim unique obtainable items, be sure to click the links on screen. If you're far too cool for that, the links are also in the description. I would like to thank you very much for watching and I'm going to leave you now and allow you to click on one of these links. Oh,
Man 4000.